Howdy folks, welcome back to a trailer reaction. This is ARC, the animated series season one trailer. Uh, first of all, I hope you had a great holiday season, great uh, new year. This is uh, right after the new year here. I think it's yeah, early morning of the 4th. I uh, got, got here to record my first reaction to Bad Batch and figured I should get this ARC one out of the way. I've had it sitting in the queue for a while. Um, I am an ARC Survival Evolved player a long time since uh, early access, soon after early access. Um, I don't know if it's pro I should be proud of this, but I have like 8,000 hours in the game. <laughs> so I kind of know the game pretty well. I'm not as big on the lore as a lot of people, but I really love the game. So I have a feeling that this animated series is going to feature a bit more on the lore. Uh, so it might be new to me. Um, in fact, they're probably all going to be new to me. So anyway, I don't know too much about it. Uh, Wildcard was, was pushing it a while back. I think Vin Diesel is in it. I think they did a quick little promo or something. Or he, no, wait, he's voicing a character in ARC 2. Right? I think so. So this might tie into that. I don't know. No clue. I don't even know what the animation style is going to be or anything. I saw there's a screenshot for the thumbnail, and that's about all I've seen. So let's get going. Let's see what happens. I'm going to watch it all the way through once. Uh, no pausing. Uh, and then we'll go back and we'll talk about some stuff. Huh? Here we go. I might say things during this first watch, just FYI. <clears throat> Russell Crowe. Ger Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. I know who he is. Oh, it's kind of anime style. All right. Or I'm not. I couldn't have done it without you. And you'll never have okay. to. I've found in my life that a sense of loss is inescapable. Death I don't smiles expect to see an arc anything in modern Don't day. You know? change your mind. I can help those people. I can make a difference. Oh, chill bite. You'll be okay. Perhaps we are being punished. And the shadows of our deeds in life have followed us here. No one knows where or any what this place is. Some think it to be the afterlife, and others purgatory. How could I fear death, Helena? I have already died. As have we all. These are not my stars. And this is no afterlife. If it were... I would see my wife again. I would hold my son in my arms. Helena? There is only one way that we all come to be in this land of the three dead. Where are they going with this? The walkers. What will I do without you? She just woke up in the ark? Looks like it. What was eating the megalodon? No, no. Okay. Well, let's talk about this. What the hell? You mind not domesticating my dinner there? The name's Bob. And this place is a lot more dangerous than you know. We should get moving. You don't know how you got here, right? You woke up in the water, washed up on the beach. It was the same for me. Why? Music is so loud. Why is it so loud? Believe it. I can barely hear the actors talking. Ah, oh, Raptor Girl! Ah, Arc theme's kicking in. Oh, she's Helena, okay. Obelisk. Fight to free all those whose names you do not know and may never know. Are we gonna see Rockwell? Was Bob Rockwell? I don't, I don't know enough about the lore. Isn't Rockwell David Tennant? It's just a way of the warrior. A path that few Or is that just my wish? Did I just have that dream? Even with the most Piranha. humble of opponents, defiance can grow into a threat. Do you not realize what can happen when a man defies the gods? Beast Queen! 
Give me a thousand lives, and I would give you a thousand deaths. I'm going to survive. Okay. David Tennant isn't it? I thought I heard his voice. Carl Urban, a lot of Malcolm McDowell. Oh my God. Alan Tudyk. I mean, I just got to comment on this. Obviously, Russell Crowe, Vin Diesel were there, Gerard Butler. Uh, they're the three lucky ones who got their names at the very top. Michelle Yeoh, Jeffrey Wright. I don't know this person. <clears throat> I don't think I know that person. Carl Urban, obviously. Deborah Millman, I don't think I know. Alan Tudyk, of course. Sissy Jones, I've heard that name, but I can't place it. D. Bradley Baker, of course, is a, a well-known voiceover artist, I believe. Don't Juliet Mills, I've heard the name. I can't place it. Monica Bellucci, I've heard, and I think I know who she is. Malcolm McDowell, obviously. Elliot Page, of course. Uh, Ron Yuan, Yoon, Yoon? Don't know how to pronounce the name, sorry. Don't recognize it. Devery Jacobs. David Tennant, obviously. Yeah, okay. Madeline Madden. Don't recognize the name. Um, is there anything else on this, or is it just the credits? I think it's just the credits. The music kind of fades out here, probably. Yeah, to black. Okay. Um, let's mute this and go back. <clears throat> There's some things. First of all, all this background setup is trying to, I guess, establish... Um, she's Helena, who is one of the names from the lore that I've seen, but I don't, like I said, I don't really know the lore. Even though I've got 8,000 hours in this game, I don't really know the lore because I, I focus more on just the survival and the dinosaurs and the taming and the building and the fun... The adventure. I don't really care about the notes and stuff in the history. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you came here for that, you're, you're out of luck. Um, but it'd be interesting to see this if it's going to be true, you know, uh, canonical. I mean, I guess it's canonical. It's being wild cards behind it. Um, but if it's true to the uh, background that we see, here's where she appears on the arc. Of course, when you play the game, if you never play the game, you don't actually appear in the water. You do appear washed up on the beach, though. That's where you spawn in. So this whole appearing in the water, swimming up, and being chased by a megalodon. And then, I don't know what attacks the megalodon. Let's look at that again. See what attacked the megalodon. Something did. Not quite sure what it is supposed to be. Ah! That is... What? An alpha megalodon attacking the megalodon? I think so. I think it's an alpha megalodon attacking a regular megalodon, which wouldn't make any sense. The alpha would come after you, too. I love the dodo. Kind of like droids in Star Wars. Come on, let's have the dodo be her friend. Although he's like, don't domesticate my lunch or whatever, my meal. So is Bob here? What the hell? You mind not domesticating my dinner there? Is Bob? No, Bob's not going to be Rockwell because Bob's just going to be another survivor. Um... Rockwell, I think, is David Tennant. I think I heard that somewhere. So I think that's what's going on. So I like, <clears throat> very true to the game here, um, you know, with the, the crude insta crude weapons, spear, hatchet, uh, basically. She's not dressed as you would when you spawn, uh, but he is. <laughs> she would be basically in a bikini uh, made out of the same material as his, uh, essentially. But it is a video game, you know. Um, but I like the beach, the log, the dodo, everything that's really cool about the game. But then there's definitely a story. They're going to interweave all sorts of elements of the game pretty clearly in here. Um, and all the different creatures you might encounter and stuff. She she sees the... the uh, I don't know that they're actually Brontos. I guess they're Brontos. Yeah, trikes on the right. I guess those are supposed to be Brontos. And further in the background, you see a couple more necks sticking up. Um, I say it could be Brontos because they don't look exactly like they do in the game, but but... They're of the right shape and size, so, or roughly size. So, imagine that she's she's actually domesticated a raptor. It looks like, and carrying her dodo. Good, her dodo's going to be with her. I love that. The dodo is going to follow along, kind of like a droid in Star Wars. I love that. Somebody in plate armor with a with a. But it's not a pike. I mean, I guess it's technically supposed to be a pike, but there's there's really just two stabbing weapons like that in in arc by default. There's the wooden spear, the primitive one you saw in the beginning, and then a. Of all metal pike. There's nothing with a wooden shaft and a metal head like this in the base game. So I don't know what's going on there. She's capturing a fish. 
And then, ah, uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out which of these little guys this is. Again, not very realistic unless this is, oh, wait a minute, is this supposed to be just a, a little thief? Uh, I don't know. Sabretooth. Uh, there's a lot of little predators like that. Um, they tend to go after you. It's not like a compie. That didn't look like a compie. They tend to go after you too. Sabretooth. I, I like how they're, they're putting story to the encounters as well, which is really nice. Somewhere here on here, I saw Raptor Girl. Is she, she's not Raptor Girl. Again, a knife like that doesn't exist in art, but that's fine. I mean, they're taking liberties, obviously, with the show. Um, they have swords. <laughs> Broodmother. The boss battle. In the Broodmother's lair. Nice. All right, that's a weapon that's in arc in the advanced in-game. It's a tech weapon. Regular bow. Did I, man, did I miss uh, Raptor Girl? <laughs> I say Raptor Girl excitedly because uh, there's an obelisk. This is not something you see in the standard game. Villages like this, native villages in this case. Uh, but again, they're taking liberties, which is fine. I'm fine with that. They're expanding upon it. It's not just a survival game. And it might be a different arc, right? Arc, the whole point of arc is that there's multiple maps, multiple worlds, and uh, they're not all the same. And this could be a completely unique one that has villages and stuff, and maybe even has native inhabitants that you encounter. Um, that is, uh, I think they're trying to depict, this is not the big one. Well, all of a sudden, all the names of only 8,000 hours, and I can't remember all the names. Um, oh, my goodness. All right, whatever. Um, the small little uh, flying one you can't ride. Um, that if you attack one, it attacks you, and they all come after you. I can't remember. <laughs> That's true of almost every animal anyway, but whatever. Um, okay. The pteranodons, awesome. And they're riding them, perfect. Uh, in the claws of a pteranodon, very much in the game. Stego's chasing somebody. She must have pissed him off somehow. Are you getting on top of a rex? You are. Yep. He's riding a domesticated rex or a tamed rex. Which is fighting a a UD? It's a UD, I think. Okay. Again, they're adding all this depth and all these people. It's it's kind of like a, a they're telling it as if it's on like a PvP multiplayer. Both, by the way, almost all my eight thousand hours are on PVE, um, and about more than half of that is probably single player. <laughs> But I have played it on multiplayer, but usually PvE. This is more like a PvP world, obviously, where there's different factions. She's being attacked by piranhas. I know I saw Raptor Girl at one point. Okay, they're riding in on the pigs. Again, exact name is forgotten. Never, I'm not going to try. I don't, I don't know why all of a sudden all the names have left me in the game. I know them when I see them in the game. Uh, let's see. Don't know what he's wearing or... Again, I'm not going to get too picky on that because I don't expect it to be video game, you know, completely accurate. It's not intended to be that. It's inspired by the video game and giving us some background on some of the characters, right? That's cool. Uh, so I, I thought I saw Raptor Girl at some point. Maybe I was seeing the one on the, the, uh, uh, the Rex and thinking it was, so... Don't know, but there's a, a very impressive cast in this thing, man. I'm just, I mean, just look at that. That is awesome. Um, I don't know how many episodes this is going to be. Let me um, see if I can go over here on the monitor. You cannot see, I hope. <laughs> and look it up, Arc, the animated series. See if it, what IMDb says about the number of episodes. In the series, where are we going? It only shows two episodes right now. Um, doesn't say when. Sometime in 2023. This didn't say when either. The trailer. And it only lists two in IMDb's. I don't know how many they're going to have, but uh, I imagine it's more than two. Oh, one, one, and one, fourteen. So there are 14 episodes? I don't know. They listed somebody put in the first and maybe the last. Uh, but either way, I don't even know where it's going to air. I don't have a clue where it's going to air or anything. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, though. I do want to check it out. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this. Um, if this is something that you want to check out, do you play ARC? How many hours do you have in it? Do you enjoy it? Um, 
I know there's a lot of people that tried it out when it first came out and have since moved on to other games. That's cool. I, I, I don't expect people to be playing this game as long as I've been playing it. I'm still actively playing it. On this channel, you'll find tons of, uh, of gameplay of me playing Ark. So uh, let me know what you think about this, uh, who's in this, uh, what you saw in the trailer, what you're excited to see about. Uh, do you know any more information? Do you know where it's going to air? I don't know where it's going to air. Uh, and it's 14 the number of episodes. Anyway, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.